So another quick tip video, this time with Oct from Instruo, basically how we can create rhythmic results with Oct. So Oct has a CV input for the frequency, for the rate of the LFO, and a dedicated attenue verter. Now when we feed gates into this CV input and turn the attenue verter all the way to the left, basically whenever the gate is high and as long as it's high, uh, Oct will sort of freeze. If you are familiar with track and hold, this is uh, something similar to track and hold. So when I now open this gate you can see on the scope oct will just freeze on this value right and will not move anymore and this makes it really easy um, for creating rhythmic results right of course this will work also in the hardware version of oct and this idea and many other patching ideas and techniques with other modules and other combination of modules is available or they are available in a document of patching ideas and techniques that i continue updating links in the description Right, so here I have an example. I have here the SEC 3 and going through Harmonic also from Instruo for getting chords. Right, this is sequencing psych going through a filter, the IO47. It will sound like this. Right now I have the first output of OCT going to the FM of the filter so I can modulate the frequency of the filter. Right, and now again I can make this a bit more uh, rhythmic. I'm sending the gates out of the SEC3 to the CV input of OCT, and now I will turn the attenue verter all the way to the left. Right, and we get something a bit more rhythmic. Of course, this can work with other sequencers, experiment also with other signals, not only gates, basically they will have to be negative, or you can turn the attenue verter all the way to the left, have fun.